Hey there, Ricardo here at DiverseSolutions.com and in this video I wanted to walk you through the importance of having a nice, strong, very prominently placed call to action on your website to both use the IDX search wherever you might have it placed on your website but also encourage site visitors to register and or contact you when they have any questions about a particular listing or anything else that's really real estate related. So first website here that I wanted to go to phoenixrealestateguide.com you'll notice that their home page is both a, a, a quick kind of in your face uh, search panel so if I want to search for homes it's pretty obvious there's the house icon and search for homes in a big orange bold uh, search button there I can access other articles and help short sale info so on and so forth maybe learn about the brokerage the website the main website there's a search form on the right hand side but the main website is also the blog um, in any case if you want to search for homes it's pretty obvious you would click on search for homes here and that takes you to the home search page now this is something neat uh, that that I think adds a little bit of effect as far as you know why I should register and create an account if you notice right under the Phoenix home search there's a link here it says why register if you click on that link it drops you down to the bottom of the page where all he did was added a little bit of text that includes uh, some answers to the question as far as why register well here are the benefits all of your searches are automatically saved and you can go back and review them later you can choose to receive daily or weekly email updates of your searches or none and you can subscribe to an RSS feed for any of your searches so it's literally just a list of all of the benefits that you get from registering and creating a, an account on the IDX search. I think that's a very nice, subtle way to push users to create an account. Another example is sparproperties.com. What I love about this website is when you land on the website, you kind of have this, this image of the map search here, um, but it's pretty obvious kind of what to do next find your next home or investment and click on the drop down and you can start a, a search or there's obviously the search for homes is prominently placed on the navigation uh, this section is a little bit smaller uh, but you'll notice why you should be searching here there's a quick video right on the home page if I click play on that you'll notice that it's a two minute video it's a quick welcome message from the actual agent and then the rest of the video walks you through the process if I hit full screen on this it walks you through the process of actually creating and conducting a search while you're on the website what's great about this is you can include that video in the welcome email something like a two to three sentence welcome message by the way uh, click here to learn precisely how to conduct a search save a search favorite properties so on and so forth using the IDX on this website I think it's very helpful, it's very short, so it's straight and to the point. Another great example is this website here, MarylandRealEstateCenter.com. If I click on the search right in the navigation, here's what I like about this page. It's the, you know, search homes for sale in Maryland, D.C. and Northern Virginia. But there's three sentences here, or three lines of text here that say you can search the Maryland Real Estate Center to find homes in Maryland uh, for sale in Maryland and the Maryland MLS so on and so forth just follow these three simple steps and then right above the IDX search there's some instructions so you can click and move the sliders to select uh, a price range as far as he, this is concerned you can click on the town dots and drag the map to see listings so if I'm a first time site visitor and I'm you know accessing this IDX which might be a little bit new and foreign to me I can click on any of those dots and know that I can click and drag to, to refine my search results and then I can click the results tab for the listing view oh okay well here's the results tab if I click on that Oh wow, it does give me a list view where I can scroll and see all of the other listings. So the text that's placed right above the home search does give the site visitor a little bit of added instruction as far as what you can do next once you've landed on this website uh, to access the IDX and whatnot. Another great example uh, is this website here, skyrealtyaustin.com. It's pretty obvious once you land on the page what to do next. If you want to conduct a search 
just fill out the form here on the website. If we go to the search page, I'm not too often a fan of having a sidebar. In this case, it works. The problem with having a sidebar on an IDX search page is that the content that I often see on that sidebar isn't very specific or real estate related. You might have other extraneous you know, sidebar items like your social sharing icons that appear throughout the page. There's a lot of unnecessary irrelevant information that usually goes into that sidebar. The other thing is that it constricts the size of the map. When you place the script code on a page, it's an auto-adjusting iframe, but it doesn't reduce beyond or below a certain width. So what happens is you'll have this very constricted map search. In this case, what's nice about it is that they have the home search on the page. In addition, they have this quick uh, navigation that points out all of the other locations uh, in Austin where you might be interested in searching. Or if you want to see more towns, just click on either of these. So if I do, if I click on Central Austin, it takes you to the page where you it, it then loads up a uh, pre-populated search for Central Austin. If I click uh, or for the area that I've clicked on. In addition, if you want to see other specific communities in Central Austin, if I click on, say, Clarksville, it takes me to the listing page where you have a little bit of text that describes you know that Clarksville is a charming neighborhood located minutes from downtown Austin the Clarksville community was founded back as early as the 1860s so on and so forth each of these areas has a little bit of descriptive text that gives you the site visitor some description as to what makes up the community um, some history on the community so on and so forth a lot of attention to detail was put into building this navigation and in this case I would say that that sidebar does indeed work um, it is highly relevant and it adds uh, some added functionality for people that might be interested in relocating to the area or learning more about specific areas um, so I would say that this section ends up working out really well um, another final example here is austinhomelistings.com it's pretty obvious also here when you land on the site there's the search form or you can click on the navigation here that also takes you to the search page but here's what I like as far as how they've built their search page you'll notice that just above the IDX map search standard map search nothing else on the page but here they added some uh, content so at Riley Realtors, we promise to put you first, whether buying or selling, so on and so forth. It's a quick call to action, uh, face of the broker there on the page. But here's what I like. There's that quick search where you can select from the drop-down the areas that you want to search. Um, here, if you hover over these, there's a flyout menu that gives you some added history as far as you might be searching for listings, and as you continue to search, you realize that the data is relevant, the information is relevant. Oh, okay, well, I want to learn more about this company. Can I trust them? Hover over that flyout menu and it gives you some information as far as the brokerage. And then if you click to meet the team, it takes you to the meet the team page. And then if you fly or if you hover over the how we help buyers and how we help sellers, again, those bring out flyout menus that give you some additional information as far as how they work. So it's a very small, subtle, but effective a call to action on that web page. It's really easy to do something like that on your own website. What you have to determine is what you want to include. So if you wanted to include uh, something like the Y register or if you wanted to include some descriptive text right above the home search that gives site visitors a gentle but subtle nudge to use and register for the IDX. process is really simple. What you'll do is you'll go to your site dashboard in this case I'm on WordPress you'll hover over pages to add a new page you'll title your page accordingly so you might do home search or search for homes whatever you want to call it in this case I'm gonna go ahead and set my layout settings since I'm using Genesis it gives me some options as far as what I want my layout to be and I want to use a full width content layout so that's what I've selected when I go to my control panel, what I'll do is I'll click on DS Search Agent and I'll grab the script code 
for the home search that I want to use on my website all the way at the bottom. If you scroll down to the bottom of that page when you click on uh, DS Search Agent, you'll see where it says Add IDX to your site. It'll have your link, which will be the default link. On the right-hand side, there's a frame HTML code. You'll copy that code, go into your page editor. You would insert your content here. So if you want to do like Y register or whatever call to action you want to include, you would go ahead and type that in this section right above. You would hyperlink it or add whatever text you want to include. If you toggle to your HTML editor, you would just simply paste that frame, uh, that script code that we provide in your Dever Solutions control panel in there. So that when you hit publish on that page, you get your desired result where you have a full width con column with your IDX search on it and then you would have your call to action in this space right above it where you can then hyperlink and create that effect like we did uh, for Phoenix Real Estate Guide. You have the Y register and then the text placed right below the script code on that page. So I hope that gives you some ideas and I will catch you on the next video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, thanks again.